In the past two general elections, the BJP has consistently held 247 constituencies. As the Modi government gears up for an ambitious third consecutive victory, these constituencies become crucial. If they manage to repeat their success for a third term, they would only need an additional 25 seats to secure an absolute majority. Let's zoom in on some key states where the BJP stands strong and why these areas are significant. With a large number of seats, Uttar Pradesh has backed the BJP by sending more MPs to the Lok Sabha. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's own constituency, Varanasi, is among these. Other notable constituencies include Sultanpur, Madura and Lucknow. In the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, PM Modi will contest from Varanasi for the third term. In Gujarat, the home state of PM Modi, the BJP has achieved a clean sweep in all 26 constituencies during the last two elections. Gandhinagar and Porbandar, where BJP joins Amit Shah and Mansukh Mandavya contest, are the two important constituencies in Gujarat. Apart from Gujarat, Delhi, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh have also seen the BJP win all the seats. In Delhi, the BJP won all seven seats, in Uttarakhand all five, and in Himachal Pradesh all four. In Rajasthan, a state with 25 parliamentary constituencies, the BJP has maintained a remarkable presence, securing 24 seats. The constituencies of Kota, where Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla has been elected twice, Alwar, where the Central Minister Bupendra Yadav is contesting, Jodhpur, Bikaner and Barmer are some of the important constituencies in Rajasthan. In Madhya Pradesh, with 29 constituencies, the BJP has received consistent support from 27 of them. Vidisha, a constituency that has stood with the BJP for decades, is particularly noteworthy. Among the 40 seats in Bihar, the BJP has held half of them in the previous two elections. Maharashtra has maintained 21 seats, while in the southern states with 17 seats, the BJP won only in Karnataka. As we look across the nation, the BJP's influence is evident from Jharkhand's 10 seats to Chhattisgarh's 9, Assam 6, Jammu Kashmir's 3, and even the single seats in Goa, Odisha, and Arunachal Pradesh. If the BJP managed to retain these and capture new constituencies, they could potentially govern alone. However, politics is always unpredictable. Where every vote counts, let's stay tuned as India charts its course in the upcoming election.